So at my preschool, in my three-year-old class, one of our other goals for the end of the year is to know our basic shapes. So this is another way for you to practice shapes at home. So I've used contact paper, but you could use press and seal. Um, you could also just use paper on the ground, or you could make these tape shapes on the ground with painter's tape, however you want to do it. So I've made a square and I've made an oval. As you can see, my oval is not perfect. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be close enough. And then I cut out some shapes with red paper. You could use um, different colors, whatever you wanted. You could find items around the house or cut them out of magazines or however you want to do this. It doesn't matter. Just as long as they're sorting shapes. So I would just start with two shapes and see how they do with that. And you could also add a third shape once they've mastered and then do four shapes and just keep adding on to the two shapes. So I'm doing a square and an oval. So I would hold up my shape. What shape is this, my friends? It's a square. Where does it go here or does it go here? That's right, it goes here. And so then they could just, then you just put your square right there. Now my next shape, what shape is this one, my friends? It looks like an egg, but it's called an oval. That's right, an oval. Where does the oval go? Does it go here or does it go here? That's right, it goes right here with the oval. Okay, what shape is this one? Is it a, squ squ a square? Sorry, it's getting so dark on the screen. I don't know how to fix it. It's a, squ squ a square, so the square would go right here. And so you would just keep doing that. Um, Sorting, sorting the shapes there. And again, like I said, just start with two shapes and see how that goes. And then you can always add more. You can add more shapes and do that. And you can do it on a window like this and leave it and just keep adding to it. Or you can do it on the floor. You could even do it where you're taking cubes, blocks, and sorting them um, into their shapes. There's so many different ways you can do this. You could also do colors. You could do you know, let's put all our red things in the circle and put all our green things in the green circle. So there's so many different sorting ideas um, out there, but it's great because the students really get to learn their shapes and they get to learn their colors and they get to learn sorting. Thanks for joining us.